Hello and welcome to the video for sixth grade for April the 6th covering our lesson from GoMath. So um, I will be using a whiteboard app um, to be able to display the pictures uh, from the online version of the student book. So that should give me the ability to kind of work through the lessons with you uh, for the problems that I circled. So for today, we are going to be working with the area of parallelograms. So I'm trying to squeeze everything in on one screen, so I apologize, it's gonna look a little bit odd. So let's start on this. So our area again is the measure of the number of unit squares needed to cover the figure without any gaps or overlaps. So here we see a picture of a four by three rectangle. And so that would have an area of four times three, which would be 12. So with parallelograms, we're working with something similar, but it's going to be um, kind of off kilter. So instead of being square, it's going to be uh, tilted just a little bit. So uh, if you look at the unlock the problem, they want us to kind of cut out this thing. You don't have to actually do that, um, but we can kind of take a look at our examples here. So if I have an area uh, for a shape that is four by nine, that should be 36. Um, so the area of uh, the rectangle would be 36. The area of the parallelogram is going to be the same thing. So we're going to do the base times the height for that, which also gives us 46. And so um, for these, we can have the length, the width, um, so let's say that the base um, would be the length, the height would be the width, and so length times width equals the area, um, length times the base, um, or height times the base would give us the exact same thing. So. Our area of the parallelogram is going to equal the area of the rectangle. Um, so for a parallelogram with a base B um, at height H, the area is going to be equal to B times H. If we have this example here, that would give us 36 square centimeters for the area of the parallelogram. And so that would give us our answer. Um, let's take a look at the middle page. I didn't assign this part, but I just want to talk through it. So if this part over here is true, what that means for us as we move forward is that we can solve for the things that we don't know. Um, so let's say we can do 2.1 or 6.3 times 2.1 to get the area. So if I do that, uh, my first line is going to be 63 and then I bring down a zero, um, and I'm going to have a, two, uh, let's see, 12, one, two, six, zero. I think that's right. Oh, I forgot I need to add extra things to be able to do this. So um, I would have my zero here. Actually, I'm just gonna switch, maybe. There we go. So I bring down my zero. Two times three gives me six. Six times two gives me 12. And so that's going to give me 13, 23. I have two decimal points, so that's going to give me an area of 13.23. Square meters. All right, so the second one, if I know that I can do um, the length times the width uh, for this, I can do 9.5 times 9.5 to get the answer for that. Um, so again, that's gonna give me uh, five, carry my two, 47. And while I'm working on this, if you guys ever want to um, work on these without um, seeing it, you can always just pause the video. I'm trying to keep these videos as short as humanly possible. 
Um, so that's going to give us a 5, 2, carry the 1, 0. So I'm gonna, I should have 90.25 for that. That is not the right one. All right, um, so for example, three I started by um, dividing here um, and writing that part in. So I would have a 14 on both sides. Um, and so my height is going to be equal to 98 divided by 14. Again, if you want to work on that on your own, you can pause the video. Um, otherwise, our answer is going to be 7. And let's go ahead and take a look at our right-hand sides. All right, so um, I have my laptop, and um, it's in the way of my uh, TV that I use for my monitor, so I can't see the problems when they're sitting over here. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get going. Um, so number one, we have base and height. So our base is going to be 8.3. Our height is 1.2. If I go ahead and multiply those together, um, I can do this out here. So you can work on this part on your own while I'm working on it. Um, that's going to give me a 6. 16, 0, 3, 8. That should be 996, but then we need to put our decimal point in. And so that should give us 9.96. All right, uh, number 3, 2.5 times 2.5 will give us our answer. And that should give us 6.25 uh, square uh, millimeter squared. Uh, number five, we are working with figuring out what our unknown number is. So when we multiply that five and a half yards times this number, that should give us 11. And that number is going to be two. So we can just double this to get our 11 yards squared. Uh, number seven, find the area of the parallelogram. Again, we are going to be working with um, our base times the height. So we have 6.4 times 9.1. Actually, probably would have been easier to write that the other way, but uh, it is what it is. So that will give us 4. 58.24 was what I came up with. I probably could have typed that one in. All right, so we have number 9, number 11, and number 13 to go. So number 9, if we are going to have a square and it is... Uh, one side equals 15 feet. We are going to do 15 times 15. So you can go ahead and start working on that on your own paper. So that's going to give us uh, 5, carry the 2, 7, 0, 5, 1. So that should be 225. Uh, number 11. We go ahead and take our starting amount um, of 8 and 1 fifth. 
and multiply that by something to get 51 and a quarter square inches. I need to figure out what that is going to be. Um, so I could actually do uh, 51.25, changing my fraction to a decimal, divided by 8.2. I move my decimal over one and put my decimal up top. Uh, 82 goes into, or sorry, uh, yeah, 82 goes into 512, uh, should be six times, and that gives us a 1249, that leaves us with 20, bring down our 5, I can count uh, by 82 twice to get to 164, that's gonna give me 41. And then I can count five times by 82 to get to 410 exactly. Um, so my answer is going to be the height is 6.25. And our very last problem, um, the height of, well, come on. The height of the parallelogram is four times the base. The base measures 3.5. So I can do um, 3.5 times four. To get 14. And then I can do 14, actually, yeah, that's fine, times 3.5 to get my answer for the area. So that's going to give me 3.5. This is supposed to be a 2. Uh, an area of 49 uh, square whatever's that we're working with. Oh, feet. So 49 feet square. Um, so that covers our problems for today. Uh, sorry that took a little bit longer uh, than I was originally planning for uh, due to technical difficulties. I will trim out as much of that as I can. Uh, on the final video. Um, if you have any questions about what we were working with, again, feel free to uh, leave me a comment in the assignment section uh, for Google Classroom, or you can send me a private comment, um, again, from the same assignment, um, so I can answer your question. The homework video will be out on Tuesday morning, as well as the video for the next lesson. So. Um, I will have all the assignments up so you can kind of see what's coming. Um, and uh, until then, I will have I will be seeing you all tomorrow. Hope you have a great day.